CJ versus reality. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Looking good. It's been a while since we've done a first experience. So we're gonna do one today. And this is one that I've been putting off because the idea of it frightens me. But so many people have been going, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this, that I'm finally gonna do it. That's right, I'm going to try the dating app Tinder. So basically, I'm gonna download Tinder. I'm gonna make my profile, and then I'm gonna see if I can find a guy who wants to go on a date with me and is okay with me showing you guys what we get up to. I'm really scared to put myself out there on the app Tinder just because there's like a lot of thirsty guys, and I've like heard some horror stories about Tinder. Who knows, I might die, or I might not. It might just be a really fun time and I make a new friend. So uh, yeah, let's download this app. App Store and search Tinder. Oh. <laughs> Guys, what if I find like my true love through Tinder and then like have to tell everybody that I met him on Tinder? Please no. <sighs> and it's installing. <sighs> I'm so scared. You log in with Facebook apparently is your only option, which I'm not very comfortable with, but okay. Let's set up my profile. Set my pictures first. We'll use that one. Um, that one. Alrighty. We've got five pictures. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just post a selfie of me now to just have a little more of a genuine like in the moment thing. I'm gonna delete my Tinder after this video though. Alrighty, we've got a photo. Let's write out my bio. I love to make adventures out of the little things in life. Hit me up for a sushi date, Disneyland, and or Universal Studios. Namely Harry Potter World. I'm a big Harry Potter nerd. Profile is all set up. Let's start uh, swiping, I guess. I feel like so judgmental doing this. Uh, some of these kiddos are definitely not old enough to be on here. This dude is like 10 or 12 maybe. This is a 12 year old for sure. You are not 29. I'm gonna take a screenshot so I can show you guys. Put it right there. And then there's this Jake kid who says he's 21. No dude, you're nine. Boop. Comment below if you think the kid is really 21. Okay, that was pretty easy to set up. Uh, this is still kind of confusing, like navigating through it. I couldn't figure out how to see my profile at first. It looks like we've got some matches, so I'm gonna send out some messages just basically saying like, hey, you seem like a cool guy, you're cute. I'm just on here for social media and I wanna take, I wanna go on like a kind of crazy date and take a video. Are you okay with that? Not sure how well that's gonna play out, uh, but we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe and message some people. I'm gonna set up a date and then I'll start filming again the day of. See you then. So it's a few days later. I found somebody who's willing. His name is Jean Salva, I think. Jean Salva, Jean Salva. Anyways, he looks really cute and nice, and we are heading to the chocolate chair to get this type of ice cream that I've been hearing about so much. It's called Dragon's Breath. That's because it's infused with liquid nitrogen, so it makes you breathe smoke. I'm excited to meet Jean, Jean Sal, I don't know. <laughs> the first question I'm gonna ask him is how to pronounce his name. <laughs> okay, looks like we're almost there. We are meeting at this place called the Chocolate Chair. I'm excited. Hey, I'm sorry that took so long. Hi, nice to nice meet you. To you. <laughs> okay, I have a quick question for you. Yeah. How do you pronounce your name? John Salva. John Salva? Yeah. Okay. That was one of my guesses. Uh, <laughs> yeah, John. Got it. It's like the French way. The French yeah. way. the dragon's breath. So there's dipping sauces for these. Oh my gosh. This is so scary. It's so beautiful. You ready to try this? Yeah. I got I strawberry. Don't touch the cup. No, it burns. It burns? Uh-oh. Ooh. You need these little sticks to eat it with because it burns. <laughs> Please do not touch, touch or ingest nitrogen liquid. There's a sign that says that. Here it goes. Whoa, it's like bubbling. <laughs> kind of works. Are you supposed to get one from like the bottom of the cup? It's not working. Try one without the dipping sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it works better without the dipping sauce. It's like Fruit Loops that are frozen. Like if you touch the cup, it like, ouch. Oh, that really hurts. You're not kidding. I'm not kidding. Like I grabbed oh. it. I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> 
I wonder if it's possible to die while eating this. Look at the cup. All crystallized. It sounds scary. Oh! That was a really good one. I feel like it kind of like breathes out when it's a really good one. It just like fills your mouth with air. It's crazy. What do you think? How many, how many stars out of five? I would say in terms of taste, it doesn't taste like much unless you dip it. But it's fun, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I would say. So how many stars? <laughs> three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. I would Maybe say 3.75. Okay. It's really good. That's good. The funness of it, ten. Yeah, <laughs> ten out of five. <laughs> That feels so good. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to like have a real conversation when While you're eating, eating this, this because yeah. it's like so interesting and so funny. <laughs> He's like, this chick is crazy. This is my scariest Tinder date ever. I know, right? She's cool. It's only my second one, actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask you what was your scariest experience then. Now I know this one. Eating deadly food. <laughs> I'm talking to your crazy YouTube chick. <laughs> that is the coolest experience. Definitely. It's the coolest. Oh, that's it's nice. It's the coolest. Yeah. But you're not lying. Cause this is very cool. This is very. Cool. It is very cool. It is very, very cool. cool. Yeah. So when I'm not doing like. A, like a smaller project, I do background work. I do it about three times a week because it's like very long hours. Is your mom or your parents like Hispanic or something or no? No, I get asked that all the really? time. I'm actually like a quarter Italian, which is I think oh, why yeah, I yeah. look. You have like the, that Selena Gomez kind of look. You probably get. He thinks that I look like Selena Gomez too. How okay? How many stars would you give Tinder? We have stars for the Dragon's Breath. How many stars would you give Tinder? I give Tinder five, right? Five? Five out of five? Yeah. Five out of five. What do you think? There needs to be more dogs on the app. More dogs. We just finished. That was so good. So, was that scary or was that fun? That was fun. It was yeah. scary. I was kidding. It was fun. Okay. <laughs> first Tinder date checked off. Another first experience. It was so much fun. Seriously, John Salvo was like the best person to go on a first Tinder date with. Aw, uh, thank you. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Also, since we did try Dragon's Breath, let's ask him a few questions about that. Okay. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna interview this guy, kind of grill him and make him more uncomfortable. What was your favorite thing about the Dragon's Breath? It was definitely breathing smoke yeah. out of my nose and my yeah. mouth. And, yeah. It's hard to have a real conversation though when you're like breathing smoke and you're yeah. like, so, when did you move out here? Like, you know, like just a bunch of stuff. It like, kind of hurts. Yeah. But it's fun. That's cool. Yeah, it's fun. You should definitely try if you're in LA. Yep. Yeah. Or if you're not. Or if you're not. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for meeting well, up with me. Too. He was such a good sport. I'm going to put his Instagram down below if you want to message him and say, hey, you were a good sport. <laughs> Thanks Thank for uh, meeting up with CJ. <laughs> it was a good thing. I'm, I had fun. Though. I'm so awkward. Yeah. This is my first Tinder date. Are you supposed to be normal on these things? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. It's uh, so nice no to meet problem. you. That was so fun. I don't know if I would recommend Tinder because it's like not my sort of thing, but that was a good first experience. So that was a super fun date. The dragon's breath was really cool. It wasn't the tastiest thing in the world, but it was like smoky fruity loop. It was so cool to like eat a dessert and breathe smoke. Such a cool first date too. John Salva was such a good sport. The best person I could have had a first Tinder date with. I was honestly really scared to do this and meet a stranger and he was just really genuine and cool. So that was awesome. I'm not sure if I will try Tinder again. If you want to see more Tinder dates, thumb this up and comment down below. Tell me what I should do next time. This time it was eating ice cream that makes you breathe smoke. What would you like to see me do with or to a Tinder date and keep it appropriate? Also let me know what I should do for my next first experience. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time on CJ vs. Reality. Be sure to subscribe for more first experiences and goofs. Bye!